Hey everyone, it is How I here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be talking about the next upcoming LR on the global version of the game, and who will it be? Will it be LR Jiren, or would it be LR Turles? So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. And the reason why these two are your options for the upcoming LR is that uh, LR Jiren really should have been provided to global already after LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Evolution Vegeta Beyond Blues. Uh, however, uh, we ended up getting the Super Saiyan 2 Tech Gohan as a worldwide celebration uh, apart for, for Christmas. So uh, now Jiren's kind of behind. We don't know when he's going to be dropping. Could be in this celebration. But the reason why Turles is an option is because the Transforming Physical Angel Frieza uh, on JP, that celebration, the part, two, the part 2 of the LR, is or was the LR Turles. So, uh, so that's really the confusion on what's going on and seeing who's coming next. So we're going to actually take a little look at both units and then also say, okay, which one is better or which one would you rather have uh, coming out as the next LR? So first and foremost, when will this LR news drop? Well, it, this LR should be dropping sometime after 117 because the Dragonstone uh, reset will be 117 and uh, when this resets it's most likely it's going to be dropping either that day later on that day or the next day so the 17th or 18th is when this next coming lr is going to be dropping now the news should drop a little bit earlier that's why i'm filming this video now in probably in the next couple days we'll find out which of these lrs will be coming out so i guess the big question is which one is better is it going to be lr jiren is it going to be turles and which one do you prefer comment below but let's go ahead and dive right in and look at the units in of itself so the tech lr turles here is a very special lr it's a non dokkan festival exclusive lr however it's a 170 percent lead so it's universal uh, universe 11 category key plus three 170 percent across the board which is very very strong right the top tier is at 170 177 and then a secondary leader skill of universal survival saga key plus three hp attack fits 150 another strong uh leader skill as a secondary leader skill which the tur jiren already is universal survival saga at 150 but combining the two very very nice leader skill there so the super attack is the heat wave megatron 12 key uh is causes colossal damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense not all that great on the 12 key the 18 key on the other hand is the uh, omega heat mega uh, uh, magnetron it's uh, causes mega colossal damage to enemy massively lowers defense and then has a medium chance of stunning which is solid so provides some stunning ability is very very beneficial of course in super battle road and things of that nature so passive skill is the value of victory uh attack and defense 200 percent right off the bat that is incredibly strong so boom 200 percent right there no waiting no need to get hit or anything like that very very amazing and then the the um uh, the rest of the pass skill is key plus one with each attack received up to five key, which is great. And then attacks effective against all types if the target enemy is attack down or defensive down status. So not only attack down, but defensive down as well. So the super attack would provide that uh, added benefit if you can, um, you know, debuff the enemy. And then performs a critical hit on stunned enemy. So, wow, uh, amazing, amazing passive skill. One of the best out there and uh, especially for an LR having that 200% right off the bat. So the active skill is absolute strength, uh, attack and defense an additional 30%. All enemies are now debuffed at attack and defense minus 30% and stuns them for one turn. So basically activates all your passives as well with that active skill and can be activated upon entering uh, the next attacking turn after receiving five or more uh damage five or more times during the battle so that's really nice it's not an hp restriction uh you just got to get hit five times and take damage five times and you can go ahead and do this active skill and it is just ridiculous amounts of damage that uh, you'll be uh providing at that point in time so very very powerful active skill there the link skill supreme warrior shocking speed in fire godly power tournament power fierce battle legendary power uh, categories, Universal Survivor Saga, of course, Realm of Gods, Full Power, Universal 11, and then Space Traveling Warriors. The stats are very, very strong at 20,000 for HP, 21,000, 21,500 for attack, uh, which is great, and defense uh, over 14,000. So 
amazing unit. This is why we want this unit on the Global Versions game. We've been waiting for it. And not only that this unit would be dropping, it's going to be the easy A's for Topo and Dispo and things of that nature. God, Topo needs that easy A because it's such a strong, strong unit once he awakens there. So, uh, so Jiren is, I, I would say, probably what I want personally. Uh, more so than Turles, but let's go ahead and take a look at Turles and say, okay, well, if we got Turles, it's not a bad thing either, because this Turles is an incredible unit. It's a 130 lead, though, so it's your normal 130% LR versus the special 170% uh, LR here as a non-Dokkan Festival exclusive, so this is just kind of going through the motions of uh, the other 130% LRs. So the leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors, keep plus 4 HP and attack defense 130% across the board, with a secondary leader skill of Extreme Strength, keep plus 4 and 100%. So. The super attack, Calamity Buster, the 12 key, causes colossal damage to the enemy with a medium chance of stunning, which is the 30% chance, just like uh, Jiren has. Uh, however, the 18 key uh, is erases attack for one turn, which is a 30% uh, SA multiplier uh, increase, and, uh, and with a high chance of stunning enemy, so 50% chance on the 18 key. So a little bit better than the, uh, the Jiren there. The passive skill, as good as the Jiren, maybe slightly you know, uh, it has a lot of extra little benefits here, but uh, attack and defense 130% right off the bat. Great. Terrifying Conquerors, category allies, key plus 3, 30% attack and defense. So that is a really, really strong benefit if you're going to be running this on a Terrifying Conquerors team. So if you're running this on a cooler team, yeah, really, really powerful. So um, so the, the passive skill is having the support there is super strong plus six um, key and attacks effective against all types uh, when the target enemy is stunned and then attacks effective against all types and a high chance 50 percent of launching additional super attack when you're at key is 24 so if you can get this unit to 24 key you are going to be doing some really a massive damage and uh, uh, really really strong passive skill but is it better than jaren it's arguable, right? This uh, the passive skills are really close. I would say that 200% right off the bat is just so strong there, even though it doesn't support some other units. Uh, you can it, it'll be, I guess, up to you to decide on that. But I would maybe give it slight benefit to Jiren. Uh, because the initial buff is so strong. Strong. The active skill uh, is a fruit of tree of might. It's a uh, keep us. Uh, 24 for one turn and can be activated when when HP is 60% or less, which isn't bad. 60% uh, usually it's like 50%, right? So that's strong there. Or starting from the eighth turn. <laughs> and so, uh, so the nice thing about this active skill, you can do it twice. However, eight turns, whew, that's a long time from now. And then the 60% absolutely could be a benefit uh, uh, to use there. So once again, that plus 24 to key just provides you that uh, effective against all types and then a 50% chance of uh, launching an additional super attack. So, very strong active skill. The link skills, brutal beatdown, prepare for battle, big bad bosses, thirst, thirst for conquest, destroy of the universe, fierce battle, legendary power. If you're running this on a correct team, that link skill is perfect. It's really, really amazing there. So, uh, categories, movie bosses, join forces, terrifying conquerors, and final trump card. Um, and then you have uh, the stats are amazing as well so 23,000 in HP really high attack uh, a little over 20,000 in defense right under 14,000 there so yeah when you look at this unit in of itself as strong as Jiren uh, but let's kind of compare the two and uh, you know just kind of give a a nod to one side or the other and so let's go ahead and look at the leader skill super attack passive active link skills categories and stats so Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the leader skill. That's a given. That's going to go to Jiren, without a doubt. 170% lead versus a 130. No brainer. Jiren has that advantage there. When it comes to super attack, uh, that's going to go to Turles because Turles does have that uh, that benefit of having a stun chance of a little bit higher. The attack down, uh, it's going to be beneficial for Jiren because he can you know increase. Um, uh, some benefit, uh, you know, on that. But when it comes to overall game, I would say I would rather have that additional stun chance with the increase of uh, super attack 
uh, as well for, for Turles. So the passive skill, that's going to go to Jiren, but slightly. You can give it either or, right? But because it's that initial 200%, um, so you kind of look at like the comparison again, 200%. And then you have the effective against all types when attack down and defensive status, and then performs a critical hit when uh, stun enemies. Man, that's that thing is amazing. And for Turles, it's really good as well because of the Terry Frank Conquerors. If you're running on a Terry Frank Conquerors team, this is going to be you know no brainer. But you kind of have to look at overall. I, I'm just going to slightly put it with Jiren. Once it, once again, you can give it to one or the other. So when it comes to active skill, I'm going to give that to Jiren as well because, um, you know, I think receiving five, uh, five attacks is a lot easier than, you know, trying to figure out that uh, 60% or eight turns. Even though, yes, you can use the active skill twice, I think the active skill in and of itself does a lot more benef benefits when it comes to... Um, uh, the unit in of itself, so that I, I give that to the active skill there. The links I gave it to Turles because, uh, like I said, if you're running on the teams that they're on, which I didn't provide the categories on Turles as well, I think it runs more efficiently with the teams that you have on there. Uh, whereas Jiren, yes, Realm of Gods, they're going to be good. Full power, yeah, I guess so. Universal Eleven, you know, first of all, Saga versus. Movie bosses join Farkers, Tearing Fun, Conquerors, Final Trump Card. I'd rather have those categories instead of these other ones. Um, Full Power Realm of Gods are really good. Universal Survivor Saga is really good. But Movie bosses join Farkers, Tearing Fun, yeah, Final Trump Card, right? So, yeah, tough to the side, but I just gave it slight advantage to the categories onto the uh, the Turles there. So all it boils down to stats, and if you want to if you want to give it to Jiren, that's fine because it has better defensive attack. But if you calculate it when it comes to an average, right? When it comes to an average, the average looks something like this. Uh, it's 19,176 versus 18,908 because of the high HP that Turles has. So when you think about it that way, I got to give the slight edge because it's so close to, uh, to Turles there. So you're looking at four Dragon Balls versus three Dragon Balls. Uh, but this is definitely subjective right you can move it to one side or the other side and give more uh more nods over to jiren if you like its categories better or if you think attack and defense is more important than hp right so but the averages went to uh, went to turles there so anyway i figured i'd make this video and say okay who is next is it going to be jiren is it going to be turles and then kind of look at the combination of the two is you know you know which either if either one comes out it's going to be a win I prefer Jiren for now and save Turles for later, but um, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Who do you want? Do you want Jiren? Do you want Turles? We'll see. We'll see in a few days to find out who is going to be coming next, and it should be dropping, like I said before, uh, 117 or 118. Um, and uh, so with that, if you are new to my channel, let me have to look at this uh, slide here. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.